John here guys and today we're talking about what else you can use your DJI HD system for. So if you have the DJI FPV goggles uh, and you're flying three style quads or you bought the DJI FPV drone that came with the goggles and you're not quite confident to go flying manual mode, you know you can build up a simple RC car like this mounts a DJI system on it, the goggles will bind directly to it and now you can fly, excuse me, not fly, now you can drive this around your house or your driveway or your neighborhood. Uh, as cheaply as $15, that's right. This is a really inexpensive car that's 15 bucks. Uh, it's, I like this one. I'll have the link in the description below because I've designed these 3D mounts. I have a larger single piece one that you can use to mount on a large RC car and I have this two piece one that'll go on small RC cars. I'll have the links for these that you can download and print out and start driving around with the DJI system. This is the Ishii Nebula Micro. Um, this is uh, not as good as the DJI Vista unit, but for something you're not gonna be flying 90 miles an hour, it's absolutely great. I had these on sale for I bought them for like $87. Um, there was some crazy deals popping off. I bought four of these and I specifically wanted to save one for an RC car project. So here it is. Let's go through the build. If you wanna build one of these up um, and get some of this stuff for cheap, join the FPV Sales Alerts Facebook group. That's where this deal popped off on. A lot of people were able to get these. Now the reason I like this car specifically is because it's really easy to take apart. You just push this little button back here. This top cover comes out. It's just two AA batteries in there. So there's plenty of room to modify things in there if you needed to, but you really don't need to here. And I'll show you why. This little cage, you just kind of bend it and it comes off. Same thing with the seats. You just kind of bend it and it comes off. So now, we have an area we can run our antenna up through this little hole to get a little bit better reception. I noticed that the reception was not perfect. Okay, so we have that now. Put the cover back down. Now we have a place to be able to mount our camera holder like this with some double-sided tape. And we can mount our Vista holder back here. The antenna should come out here. So we're gonna transfer this over to that very easy. Now this will work with the DJI camera or with like, this is the Nebula Ishin Micro. It'll also work with the Nebula Pro or the Nebula uh, Nano if you use any of those adapters. I made this at 20 millimeters but since it's uh, printed PLA, it'll bend in just a little bit in order to fit a 19 millimeter camera like this. Um, I like it because it's red, so it'll match the color of my Jeep. Now this camera does only have a 60 frame per second refresh rate, um, unlike the DJI version, which has 120. But when you're traveling on an RC car, which is gonna be going much, much slower than a drone, It'll work completely fine. So this is actually a really good instance for this. I got these for super cheap on one of those Banggood sales. They were 87 bucks each. Now here's where I'm gonna show you the wiring for this uh, Vista unit. All I did was take an XT30 connector. You can also use an XT60. And I just hooked it up to the ground and power pads right there. Um, so now it's completely ready to go on like this, I can go ahead and slide this antenna. I can reuse that same zip tie I had securing this. This will keep that antenna in place. Um, there's some other types of mounts that you have to put the antenna in first and then run this, but I prefer just to slip it on place like this, have it open, it's easier to take on and off, and I don't have to do it in any particular order. 
and I'm just gonna use one little nut since this is not gonna be traveling really fast. Now, how am I gonna attach it to the car? I'm gonna use some of this uh, mounting tape right here. Um, I also really recommend this 3M Extremely Strong. I use this for anything that's going to fly 30 pound if I was mounting a VTX or a receiver or anything like that. Um, but for this, I can use a little bit of the lighter duty stuff and this will work just fine. Give me a little piece like this, take the backing off, put this underneath right here, and then that will allow me to mount it to the car. Now, if I was doing this properly, I'd run this wire in through the windshield. I'm just gonna show a quick example of how I would mount it. I'm gonna kind of get it in the rearmost position like that and just touch put a little bit of pressure. It'll stick on there pretty good. Now it's not going nowhere. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the camera. Just take a little piece, take the backing off, put it on the bottom and then position it where I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and hide this wire a little bit in this little notch. I want it like right in the center of the hood and I want it angled kind of like that so it's kind of flat. Now I can adjust this angle if I want to. So that's pretty much center. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of pressure and now it is done. So check this thing out. Here is my new FPV RC car. It only took a few minutes. If you have a printer, you can do this. I'm gonna release the files for this. If you have a larger size car, you can use this mounting solution and I'm gonna release the files for both of these so you can make this at home. This is a $16 car, guys. And now it is compatible with my DJI FPV system. I have a little bit of room over here on the side for a small LiPo battery. I'm gonna put a 2S, um, probably a 3 100 milliamp in there that you would use for like a small drone. That'll be able to power this. It will fit in there nicely and it'll be all ready to go. Really awesome way to get some additional use out of your new DJI setup or to just get acquainted with RC cars in general. This is definitely toy great. I mean, for 15 bucks, what do you expect? But if I can add the DJI system to something as cheap as this, you can really do it on any RC car and all you need is a little bit of double-sided tape and a 3D printer. What do you think in the comments? Are you building DJ RC cars, RC planes, RC quads? What kind of stuff are you using? Have you gotten more mileage out of your system by doing cool projects like this? We're gonna have more of these coming in the future, so stay subscribed, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.